Hey, ¿Qué pasa bendita? Soy Gato Place y estamos en un video más reaccionando a Death Barrel. Esta vez toca Thor contra Vegeta. La verdad es que veo con poca chance a Vegeta de ganar. Thor debería ganar bastante fácil, pero es como Death Barrel. Como es Death Barrel, no tengo idea. ¿eh? Capaz si se marcan otro Hulk contra Broly, daría un 35% de probabilidad de victoria a Vegeta. ¿eh? Pero vamos a ver qué tienen que decir estos chavalones, ¿no? Vamos a subir un poquito. A ver, a ver, a ver. Thor, the god of thunder. El dios del tren. The prince of all singing. The sky shakes when they appear. Va, qué épico, eh. Trembles when they appear. La pelea va a estar mamalona, güey, lo sé. Contain the power of these two gods of war. Or their egos. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze. Haz su máquina. Armor and skills to find out who would win. A death battle. Va. ¿Vieron la preview? Está hermosamente animado, ¿eh? Hermosamente animado. Uy, 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 uy. Se toca que sí existen. Príncipe de Asgard, dios del trueno. Miembro fundador de los Vengadores. Mira, si les ha contado lo de Inforce, por si alguien tenía. <risa> Mayor enemigo de un monstruo 69. Vita <risa> la verga. Si les ha contado lo de Inforce, por si alguien tenía duda. New York. Thor's Asgardian body is immensely durable, immunized and capable of healing far faster. Y brido mutante, ¿desde cuándo? Also, the literal god of strength. Un vulnerabilidad, okay. Super aliento. Ah, pestar el hocico al Thor, yo creo. Arm wrestling with Hercules and almost throwing the Earth out of orbit strong. Notably, he was once blasted with a graviton bomb, which subjected him to the gravity of a neutron star. That's o sea, 100 billion times greater than Earth. Un chingo vaya. And he's got the stamina to match. Nice. Able to fight for 40 days and 40 nights without stopping. And what better weapon for the god of storms to wield than a sentient cosmic storm? Eons ago, the almighty god Tempest rampaged through the Dios tempestad. It arrived in Asgard and after a pitched battle, Odin managed to trap it within a block of the magical ore Uru that he would forge into his son's hammer, Mjolnir. El Mjolnir, güey. O Jonathan, ¿no? Como le dicen los carnales. Mira, ahí está el cinturón. Esa madre que no sé cómo se pronuncia, que puede cortar a través de la armadura celestial, güey. Ese está pasado de verga, güey. Todas las deidades iban a matar esa bomba. Chinga tu madre. Ok. And if Thor wants to fly, all he has to do is take it for a spin. Literally, he throws that motherfucker. Ya que temporal, eh? Ay, de wey. When he does, it flies fast enough to cross the entire galaxy in seconds. Ojo velocidad, eh? One problem. It's a little teeny. Unlike Thor's big ass <laughs> axe, Yarnbjorn, it's sharp enough to cut through. ¿Cómo se llama Yarnbjorn? And it's unbreakable and uh and indestructible. An Okay, look, it doesn't have a galaxy storm inside it. Still pretty cool. <laughs> sí, la verdad, sí. Look, Wiz, I'm worthy. No, you're not. There's no intention. <laughs> well, then what the hell am I gonna do with this? But should he face an enemy beyond the <laughs> likes of even his world-shattering strength, <laughs> or harness his inherent godly power into one single ultimate attack? The God Blast. Uy, el God Blast. Ah, Vegeta probablemente se vaya a morir por God Blast. Shit his pants and bounced at the sight of such an awesome attack. Jesus, even the Avengers seem pretty small potatoes compared to this guy. What can you bother with them? Because not every problem can be solved by hitting it really hard. Bullshit. That was the point of the lesson. To force his headstrong son to confront a world more complex and nuanced than his millennia of battle had prepared him for. Thor had to be more than a warrior. He had to be a hero. He's battled the Silver Surfer and even the Sentry. 
A Sentry, güey. Bueno. ¡Ojo! ¡No! Yo voy a ser más débil que Vegeta. That's like the tiniest amount of time that we can imagine. There are as many planks in a second as there are grains of sand on Earth. Oh, wait, did I say Earth? I meant 10 million billion billion Earths. Thor has Got to moderation beams trying to tear apart his atoms one by one. Survived Mephisto trying to consume his soul. And even with the okay. temporal rift that aged normal people to dust. Oh, he's a hard bastard to kill. And even nastier. Ya van a ser más débil que Vegeta, güey. By entering a state known as Warrior's Madness, Thor commits an unpardonable sin in Asgardian society and willingly sacrifices his sanity for a tenfold increase in power. Yeah, despite being a really sweet lunk. Solo 10 veces más? In Masterpiece Theater and dresses like he's in What's Opera Duck. Thor has struggled with being worthy of his father's legacy and throne. But no matter what unbelievable shit Marvel throws at him, Thor always rises to the occasion. Verga, lo van a hacer más débil que Vegeta. The machine called the World Engine was controlling Yggdrasil, the world tree that connects 10 universe-sized realms. The World Engine's purpose was to mechanically trick Yggdrasil into disrupting the natural flow of Ragnarok, the end of the world. So Thor just pushed it and literally reversed the flow of fate. That's right. He outmuscled a giant multiversal tree and prevented Armageddon. Not a bad Saturday. Oh no. He'd go a step further and defeat the mysterious elder gods that manipulated the cycle of Ragnarok in the first place, ending it forever. So perhaps now when you look up at the thundering sky, you won't fear the gods capricious wrath. No hablaron como tal de la velocidad. Thor, the god of thunder, kicking ass and saving the day. No hablan como tal de la velocidad de, pero igual debería ser más veloz que, Tho que Vegeta. Y lo de que lo van a hacer más débil que Vegeta ya tengo mis dudas, ¿eh? Genocide, the alien emperor King Cold and his son Frieza Rey Cold be their personal hit squad conquering worlds in their name but when Frieza felt these monkeys were getting a bit too uppity for their own good he Marduk, no. whole planet. the king was dead leaving his young son the prince Vegeta alone burning with a grudge against Frieza Príncipe de todos los Saiyans Saiyajin Le gusta Bulma, su hijo Bueno, sus hijos eh, Karaoke Karaoke Y las camisas rosas Ningún Ten times greater than that of Earth's Making his natural physiology significantly stronger and more durable than a human's As in, making the whole friggin Earth shake No pusieron que le gusta su cibar, eh And like all Saiyans Cero de diez Es más, ya lo voy a quitar, güey Has a physical energy to make Make him even stronger, faster, and tougher than that. Or literally shoot it at your opponent to blow him to king. A la verga. That's right. Vegeta can point and click a planet out of existence with his soul. Con su alma. He can use key to Solo digo. Faster than light speed. Thor absorbe la vida prácticamente de Vegeta. <laughs> with energy rings. So let's be real. Vegeta's favorite attacks can be summed up with. Big ass laser. He's got the purple big ass laser, <laughs> two handed big ass laser, rapid fire big ass laser, <laughs> big ass laser, and fuck it, omnidirectional your ass is grass big ass laser. Que ni siquiera mató a Yimbu, por cierto. Favorite is the mouth wide open vomit big ass laser. No, that's more of a Nappa thing. Kind of like <laughs> this. <laughs> no, no me. <laughs> no. Of key mastery boomstick. <laughs> it hurts when I breathe. <laughs> the most terrifying ability, however, is the one inherent to his Saiyan biology. Es espiritual, when the Saiyan survives okay. a life or death struggle, their power increases exponentially. That's what Frieza was so terrified of, the Saiyan's infinite evolutionary potential. So it's no wonder Vegeta eventually toppled the alien tyrant with the help of another surviving Saiyan, Kakarot. And with Frieza's defeat at the hands of Kakaroto. the Saiyan Super Saiyan, Vegeta had a new rival and a new goal. Become blonde! No battle required. <laughs> Vegeta can harness the rage of his Saiyan heritage and transform into a Super Saiyan 2 and a Super Saiyan 2. But try <laughs> as he might, Vegeta struggled to keep up with Goku's ever increasing power. I guess it doesn't help that Veggie is maybe the <laughs> <single -time laughs> bastard to ever have existed. Yeah, sure, dude. Let's sell become perfect. Nah, we'll be fine. Hope your spine is doing all right. 
<laughs> Dumbass. Though Vegeta did Chale. manage to accomplish something that even Goku couldn't do on his own. Becoming a god. Eso sí, lo hizo el solo, eh? Met the god of destruction Beerus. They had a whole new lineup of martial artists to conquer. With some angelic training to boot. With spirit fission, Vegeta can forcibly absorb an opponent's ki with every strike. And he even learned Goku's patented instant transmission. Allowing him to teleport huge distances. ¿A poco lo aprendió ya? With god ki. Oh, no sabía, eh? Further beyond and become. Qué chingón por Vegeta. Saiyan god. A Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan and a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Evolved. His power got completely insane. The dude was strong enough to destroy the room of spirit and time, an entirely separate dimension, just by powering up. Okay. When Goku fought Beerus, he nearly destroyed the universe. And that was the very first time he ever went Super Saiyan God. Considering Team one. Measured Dragon Ball's Universe 7 to be up to 13 times bigger than our own. Hablarán de los multiplicadores ya. More energy to bust it, and since the shock waves of their punches traveled across the universe in seconds, Goku would have had to be punching that fast too. And that's not accounting for Vegeta's training and various exponential transformations. When an amount of power is measured by how many universes it can destroy, that power itself becomes incomprehensible. Oh, we're not too on, too on. Vegeta can tap into the same monstrous energy Beerus has. Destruction and Hakai. When he does, he can perform Hakai and erase. Entirely, it erases you physically, spiritually, and even temporally, as it it wipes you from time itself. Que todo eso resiste Thor, por cierto. Of destruction. For when Vegeta wants to go one step beyond, beyond, he seizes that very power. He becomes a warrior fueled only by lust for battle. He becomes. Ultra Ego. If Vegeta's head wasn't La fase 777. As the offensive counterpart to Goku's Ultra Instinct, Ultra Ego Vegeta is a veritable juggernaut. Able to absorb any hits that come his way and vaya. turn them even stronger. It's wild this guy has a Napoleon complex. He's one of the biggest badasses ever to exist. In a way, failing to beat Goku was probably the best thing for him. Vegeta's whole life was spent rebelling against the humiliation of his race, trying to prove his worth by being the best. By contrast, Goku's self-improvement was never stunted by his ego and insecurities. In realizing that, Vegeta became more than a fighter, Aww. but a husband and a father as well, willing to sacrifice himself for what mattered. No quiero que se muera Vegeta, güey. Que aguita. Himself when he hooked up with Bulma for some Super Saiyan sexy time. Getting to be Freeza's golden ass probably didn't hurt either. He may not always win, but he'll never be put down for long. So be sure to practice your groveling. No quiero que se muera, güey. One prince, you don't want to piss off. <laughs> morir, Vegeta. <laughs> all right, the all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. battle. Eh, okay, apuestas finales. Creo que eran más fuerte a Vegeta. Eh, Thor debe ser más rápido y ya vimos todas las putero habilidades que tiene Thor, güey, que se pueden chingar a Vegeta fácilmente y además por si fuera poco las habilidades que tiene Vegeta le valen pito a Thor, güey. Entonces Está medio feo para Vegeta, ¿no? Diría, diría que sí van a darle la win a Thor, ¿eh? Aunque me gustaría mucho que ganara Vegeta, pero no lo merece, ¿sabes? Ahora sí. Ay, Dios mío. Qué bonito se ven los sprites, por cierto, güey. Como muy HD. Vegeta, what's up? Tiene que ser el chiste, perdón. What business havest thou upon earth? Throw that hammer at me again, and my business will be polishing my gloves upon your. No te cachan diez, Vegeta, por favor. Did that count? Me encanta cómo representa a Thor aquí, por cierto. Verga, verga, verga. Se viene chavalín. El hacha, wey. Y el hacha valió verga. Ahora sí se viene lo chido. And you can burn in hell! 
Ojo, ojo. Ataque Big Bang. Ah, oh, lo observió. No lo puede cargar. No es digno. ¿Ultra Ego ya? No mames, va a perder Vegeta feo. Oh no. Qué vergazote. Thor sigue en base, güey. Sí, ya. Vegeta. No te mueras, güey. Au. ¿Y God Blast? Uf. A la verga. ¿Vegeta? Ah, ah, ok. Venga tu madre, güey. Tú vergueado. No, 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 martillazo, no. No, se va a morir feo, ¿verdad? ¡La verga! No mames, qué buena estuvo, güey. Sí, es que Thor tenía demasiada ventaja, ¿eh? <risa> no mames, güey. Un poquito obvio cuando se lo trago tan rápido, ¿eh? Pero muy bueno, güey. Dicen que el Odin Force este, compensa ese, esa brecha de poder entre ellos dos. O sea, sí hicieron más fuerte a Vegeta. Ultra Ego's power boost has never been stated, but we do know that Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta were roughly even in power. When Simon. Goku applied a Kaioken times 20 boost of Vegeta, he no no jumped up after going Blue Evolve, implying that both increases in power are roughly the same increase. Uh -huh. Similarly, Blue Vegeta matched base top and needed Blue Evolve to keep up with Top's God of Destruction form, which is extremely similar to Ultra Ego in theme and purpose. Given this is the best current example of a measurable form akin to Ultra Ego, we can no escala a Vegeta Ultra Ego a Broly, eh? At least initially, como debe ser vaya. Similar in terms of a percentage increase, making Ultra Ego's original state about 20 times more powerful than Blue Evolve. With that in mind, Vegeta at his peak could destroy a universe roughly 260,000 times over. And Thor, <laughs> pretty close to that. Taking a look at the Marvel Universe's size, which has a radius of at least a trillion light years, uh -huh. as well as scaling to the World Breaker Hulk, Thor ended up only about 10 times stronger. Not terribly different. Get the si más fuerte. Eh? Vegeta's power could increase during the fight to match it. But even if he was stronger, it wasn't the only thing that mattered. Ultra Ego's damage absorption could only do so much against an opponent like Thor. Vegeta may have trained as a warrior from birth. A la verga, we que recuerdo el combate, la neta. Much wider variety of foes. Allowing him to adapt to Vegeta fairly easily. And the fact that Thor was way faster gave him a lot of leeway to use that extra combat experience. Applying Vegeta's transformation multipliers to the shockwaves from Goku and Beerus' punches, Vegeta should be able to fight at nearly 300 quintillion times the speed of Thor. Eh? Scaling to Ares moving Pero vale verga, time, Thor would be over 70 quadrillion times faster. More than fast enough to avoid Vegeta's key attacks, and even more importantly, absorb all of them with Mjolnir. Y eso es poco para Thor, ¿eh? All of Vegeta's ranged attacks. Sure, Vegeta could absorb it back with Spirit Vision, but he'd have to hit Thor first, and with that much of a speed difference, that's easier said than done. And since eso sí. 
will the energy out of somebody, he could just take it right back, and then some. Even without absorption, Vegeta's key reserves are not infinite, and many of his battles have ended with him at low energy. He was on. exhausted by the end of the Tournament of Power, which lasted about one hour in total. Meanwhile, Thor fought an army for over no, no a straight. Theoretically, Vegeta could have ended the fight immediately with Hakai, if not for the fact that Thor has resisted existence erasure before, including physically... Sí, además, esta mina toro mucha más. Meanwhile, Vegeta had no way to match the God Blast, which could have killed friggin' Galactus. And that guy has threatened the infinite multiverse with destruction just as a side effect of his battle. Wrong That's way. a level of power beyond anything we've seen in Dragon Ball yet, let alone Vegeta. Vegeta was never come going on, to go down on. easy, but Thor's raw power... Basically, que Thor se solea a todo el Dragon Ball verso, dijeron. <laughs> ...the prince of all Saiyans. Vegeta Mjol nearly won until Thor blew his mind. You might say that pun was ha kind of terrible. Ah? You don't okay, do puns! <laughs> we've talked about this! Aw. My thing! <laughs> well, the winner is Thor. <laughs> Ok, Thank you for next time Vamos a hacer una pequeña predicción Acaba de pasar el 4 de mayo Día de Star Wars Ojalá sea Boba Fett Porque eso me, confir me confirmaría Que no solo quedan los combates de los Confirmados para esta Primera mitad, entonces por favor Que sea Boba Fett por favor, porque si es Boba Fett va a ser en 3D, yo creo, da huevo. Boba Fett contra Wolf. Lo más probable es que sea contra Predador. ¡Omniman! ¡No! ¡Qué mierda! ¿Qué es esto? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué contra Homelander no tiene nada que hacer? Bueno, al menos no es otro confirmado. ¡La verga! ¿Por qué? Ay, le hubieran hecho contra Bardo, que vale ver que si son dos de Dragon Ball seguidos. No mames, chavalín. Wey, pero se van a culiar a Homelander como no tiene idea, wey. La diferencia de poder es abismal, wey, pero abismal. Pobre Homelander, wey. No, es que no me gusta este match, apenas no me gusta este match. Me gusta mucho ver a alguien de Invencible. Pero ¿por qué contra Homelander, wey? ¿Por qué? No chingues, güey. Se lo va a culiar, güey. Pero culiar a niveles astronómicos, güey. Astronómicos. Nah, hubieran puesto a Bardock, ¿qué? ¿eh? Fácil, hubieran puesto a Bardock. Me vale ver que son dos de Dragon Ball seguidos, güey. Si querían hacer un combate con Omniman ya, hubieran puesto a Bardock, güey. Me vale verga. No, ya murió Homelander, güey. Es que lo mata de un dedo, güey. ¿Qué chiste tiene eso? O sea, ponle tú que Vegeta no tenía oportunidad contra Thor. Pero mínimo tenía algunas cosas para argumentar. Pero Omniman contra Homelander es demasiado... <ríe> no, brecha demasiado grande, güey. Más grande que Thor contra Vegeta. Así fue estuvo. Y bueno, Vegeta murió, ya no hay ciber. <ríe> bueno, banda, los que estén viendo esto en YouTube, gracias por darle like, suscribirse. Fijito Place y nos vemos en la próxima video reacción de Omniman contra Homelander. Chao, chao.